what to expect a toddler years, I think this kind of gets it when we start being on the hook. Uh, it's about a 900-page book. I didn't read it. I don't imagine many of you will. New Mother's Guide to Breastfeeding. Pretty sure that none of us are going to need that. <laughs> healthy sleep habits, healthy child. I didn't read that as well. This was this is called Nursing Mother, Working Mother, The Essential Guide to Breastfeeding Your Baby Before and After You Return to Work. Did you breastfeed your children, Jim? You have nipples. I do. I do have nipples. Greg, you have nipples too? I do, Fokker. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> And, and here's one thing I will say, because it took me a long time to, pr and I'm, I'm still working on being a better listener, so all guys out there, just try to be the best listener imaginable. But I think for women, there is so much pressure on like, oh, like there's all these women that think that they're like badass if they don't get an epidural, and it's just like, who the hell cares? Be real supportive and tell your wife, don't worry about what anybody else is doing. Do what you want to do. If you don't want to breastfeed, don't feel guilty because, I mean, I don't know, what is it, 50-50? How many people do one and don't do the other? But there's all these – I mean, we had so many people like, oh, you know, you have to breastfeed. Oh, uh, like we even – we had friends that did the uh, non-disposable diapers. Yeah. Which, I mean, no judgment that's, here, but that's a tough I'm not one. trying to – Yeah. Yeah. Who wants to, who wants to flop – a cloth full of turds into the toilet, and then you got to wash that in your machine. Yeah, you got, you got to wash, you got to wash poopy cloth. You yeah. already talked about what that poop looks like. Yeah, it's not like a log. It's a. <laughs> so to hit upon about uh, about breastfeeding and um, and formula, there there is you know like you said everyone's different. It's not it, there is a guilt trip. Uh, I think my wife felt it as well from some people. Like you have to breastfeed, you have to breastfeed. But one, oh, yeah. one great thing that I liked as a hands-on dad that I wanted to be was formula made it so much easier for me just to go out. Like with, with my daughter at the time when she was just an infant, like to go to the zoo and just go to the park and stuff like that because I would just take, you know, little measurements of formula with me with, with water and you just have to shake it up and, and you're ready to go. There wasn't like, okay, you got to keep the breast milk refrigerated and like all this type of stuff. Like it was a very easy, like on to go thing where for me, you know, I was working a lot. So when I came home on the, you know, when I was there on the weekends to spend a lot of time, uh, because at night I was getting home so late during the week, like I used to just be like, Hey, let me give you a break. I'll take, you know, our daughter out on a Saturday and for a few hours and we'll go to the, you know, to the park and just, you know, look at things or go to the zoo or whatever it is. And it was so easy for me using formula to be able to do that. So that is a plus. There's uh, yeah. Now, now the, the flip side of that is unfortunately, if you're, if you're a couple that's breastfeeding, um, I guess there's sort of like a feeling of helplessness at the same time. It's kind of like, well, I don't have, I'm not going to be asked to wake up in the middle of the night because unfortunately, or fortunately, if you want to look at it from sort of the selfish standpoint, you can't help. Yeah. Uh, unless it's been like, uh, pumped and bottled or frozen or something right. like that. Right. You're nursing that sippy cup there, curious. Dude, it's, it's, so, it's tough to get it out of here. That's what she said. I didn't bring enough beer to this. <laughs> <laughs>